We want to give people this feeling like they come to visit our home. We share the palette, share the story, share the, the feeling together. Here's our key lime pie. So a lot of time when I creating or designing drink is not necessarily start from palette, start from flavor. I probably start from an idea, a, a concept. Even sometimes I, I saw a moment, a, a fallen leaf or something, something very artistic, and I catch that moment and try to translate that into a flavor, into a drink. All right. So let's make the French toast. Every drinks we create here actually come from different ideas, different like background story. So this is the pre-mix we made um, with burnt toast, which is brioche. We bake it till a uh, slightly burn and then slow cook it with maple syrup, blend it with coconut water, whole egg, some salt and strain it. But right now the first uh, dish menu, we focus on turn a dish, like deconstruct a dish and put it back in a drink form. And certain drink that we do do is like reverse pairing with a small bite with it. It's actually like, um, we call reverse pairing because you are drinking your food and you are eating your drink. The drink is based on a dish we deconstruct and put it back in the liquid form. The bites is based on a classic cocktail or beverage and we deconstruct, put it back in the bites form. And this is the barley tea vodka, which is vodka infused with um, roasted Japanese barley tea to get a smoky, a little bit like uh, toasted flavor to enhance the bread. So you are drinking your food, you are eating your drink. So it's a fun experience to, for people to rethink or relate about their daily experience. Touch a bit of brown sugar syrup. People say, oh, you're such an artist. In my mind, it's actually, I'm not really an artist, I'm a designer. It's a big difference. Artist is purely you uh, express yourself, whatever you want to put in, because that's purely expressing your emotion, your feeling, your idea, uh, everything that you're mind in your own world. But this is a place that people have to be able to relate, to enjoy. They pay for the drink, they pay for the service, they pay for everything, right? So, I mean, it's more like design. It's, um, Part of it is a, is a problem solving. It's like we try to create and try to solve the problem, try to uh, make people able to enjoy what they like, and then we create something that can be resonate to people's palate, that can for people to feel safe to be in the space, to be their self, also enjoy the product we serve. Here you go. You are enjoying your French toast and pair with the bites that's inspired from espresso martini. So you are drinking your French toast, eating your espresso martini. Yeah, take a sip, take a bite, take another sip. We have two different rooms, the front room and the back room. Front room is more like cocktail and cocktail on tap and chicken sandwich. Fun environment, like old school hip hop, like first come first serve, more casual. In terms of like, making cocktails or working behind the bar, we do like to serve, we wanted to create like Fun, happy vibe for everyone around us. This is our choking sign. It's a boxer chicken choke himself. It also represents our spirit, like never give up, like a boxer. It's really hard to taste something and say this is completely new. If it, when it's completely new, you actually don't get it because like, what is this? It's just like question mark all the way. The good design sometimes comes from 85, 80%. That's actually something you're familiar with, but 10 or 15%, that's something innovative or something you are not familiar with, but something fun, something like trigger out of memory and link everything together, become a, a, something that's approachable, something that's enjoyable, and something that you can relate. And then we try to apply that to our concept, no matter it's interior, no matter it's the music, the vibe and the drink, the food that we create, that we serve here. Something that's the, that's the principle. So this is the back room. The back room, um, different concept, different drink and different food menu. It's more like craft cocktail, finger food and top pots. It's a one layer bar, almost like, almost like a kitchen counter for people to feel homey. No, no back bar. Here we go. Yeah. It's all the spirits. So you guys sitting on a kitchen counter, you're the guest, we're the host, we host you at our own kitchen. 
This is our utensil we design in-house. It looks like a screwdriver. It, when I was in college, my favorite way to, de to do design is called hacking design, which is like a hacker, like deconstruct and rebuild. So this is a really subtle image. Like for people, when you're doing your food, you are like deconstructing using a tool to rebuild. All right, let's go to the kitchen to meet the chef. A lot of things we do is actually almost like a small collaboration between bar and kitchen. Probably the most exciting part about working here is getting the byproducts from all these like savory food inspired drinks. Um, so a dish I love to talk about all the time is the shiitake mushroom poppers that we have. So three drinks, back many cocktails are actually featured in that dish. Shiitake mushrooms are kombi and the red-eye gravy from the red-eye gravy drink. Inside the puff pastry shell, we stuff the brandy raisins and the brandy raisin butter from the fat wash and from the butter raisin biscuit drink. And then the last piece for that dish is the beet soil that we make from the beet pulp from the New York beet salad. So it's sustainability, just repurposing these really fun byproducts that would otherwise be thrown away into yeah. a component. Sometimes people taste the drink we make, uh, they doesn't really like it. I'm more than happy to adjust it for them. It's not like, this is my craft and that's it, end story. First of all, gin. Plum, I suppose, from Imperico. The egg white. It's more like how can we come together and build a flavor that you really enjoy it and that make my day. You know, that make me happy that uh, sometimes customers, sometimes the guest experience and guest idea is actually a sparkle for me. So oh, maybe I can do different way. And that's the fun part. Heavy cream, a bit rich syrup. Winter melon is a very um, traditional thing that we drink in the summer back in Taiwan. But it really resonates that pie flavor in the Krilan pie and a lot of lime juice. So we use the frother to like mix it. Frozen glass. I never thought I'm gonna be a bartender. I never thought I'm gonna own a restaurant and bar. We have this stencil that we design as Krilan pie. <laughs> It came together organically and surprisingly I enjoy it. I'm still doing it. It's been the past 11 years and I'm loving it every day. Here you go. Here's our key lamp pie. <laughs>